Welcome back to Just the Tips. I'm the Fugly and Lonely T4, and today we're gonna cover why Enshrouded is a builder's paradise. Let's get into it. First, I would like to take this chance to thank everybody for the amazing love and support I've been getting on the channel lately. It is greatly appreciated. Also, just a quick chance to remind you that if you enjoy this video in any way, shape, or form, go ahead and hit that like and share button, and don't forget to subscribe so you can catch more of my tips. Now, I'm just going to quickly cover this luminosity piece because uh, even in the middle of the day, it cast a blue glow on everything. Mind you, it's likely because of how much I have down, but I just wanted to highlight the fact that it is able to give off light in the middle of the day and you can use all of the other building pieces with the luminosity piece as you can with everything else. You're not going to be limited to using the luminosity piece just like one little square piece at a time you can actually use it the same as you use the rest of them now i'm gonna get rid of this so that the rest of the pieces have the proper coloring now if i'm being completely upfront and honest about this video the whole intention is so that you can get a chance to look at each building piece before deciding to dig into collecting all the resources for it that way you don't spend a bunch of time collecting resources and end up not liking the building piece that you're planning to use so we're going to start right down here at the beginning. These are in no particular order. We have the rough stone block. Looks pretty much how you would expect. Just a bunch of random stones stacked on top of each other. Next, we have the regular stone block. It looks like it's been quarried a little bit and shaped somewhat. They got a nice little design on them. What you're going to notice over each building piece is that they all have something unique about them so that they're just a little bit different from each other. I think this is a beautiful thing that the devs from Enshouted have done. And I'm also going to take this quick moment to shout out the devs for this game because they have done a fantastic job building a game that is beautiful to build in. Now let's keep going. Here we have the wood. This is actually the refined wood. And then moving on to the fired clay. Just what you would expect, a pretty standard clay brick. Again, with its own unique little pieces everywhere. And this is our rough wood, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, this is the rough wood block. So you can see, it just looks like a bunch of sticks stacked together. Smaller logs, of course. And then here's the city wall block. Just a plain, regular city wall block. So it's meant to look a little bit tougher than the other one over there. A little bit less regular, but you can, I just, I love the level of detail that the devs have put into this. And then of course we have our bone block. And then here we have the well block. Here we have our weathered stone, so it looks, again, just a little bit different, a little bit less uniform, not as much mortar. You'd probably want to use this somewhere you're hoping to give just a, a slightly weathered look to your build, not necessarily the newest part of your build. And here we have the fancy stone block, and if I'm being completely honest, this might be one of my favorite pieces. I just love the way they've done this wood outline. It just, I don't know what it is, but it resonates with my core. And here we have the wood clay combination. It is called the half timber block. And this is the limestone piece. Now we're just about halfway through all of these building pieces. And again, I just gotta say the devs have done an amazing job. So here we have the desert city wall. And then our iron, the iron block. I don't personally think I'd wanna use iron this much if it wasn't for content. But I don't know, maybe your build would love to have something made out of pure iron like this. And then the metal piece, or the metal block, the overgrown mycelium block, 
again, everything as similar as it looks, there's always just enough about it to make it stand out. And here we have the palm wood. Would definitely look great in a study or library or fancy entertainment room of some kind. The refined sandstone. Again, we've got the little arches that you see everywhere, but there's all it's just different enough that it stands out and looks great. A refined stone block. So we're starting to look a little bit more uniform with the refined stone, but I love this accent piece around the top of it here. The regular sandstone. Looking a little bit more plain, but still looking good. Rough flintstone. Is that what it's called? Flintstone? And I love this archway here to make it look fully supported. And something else too that I love that the devs have done is the way the blocks connect to each other seamlessly, even if they are separate building pieces. And here we have our rough what? Our rough sandstone block. What was this one back here? Regular sandstone? Yeah, regular sandstone. So this is the rough sandstone block. So again, you've pulled the pieces out and stuck them together, but you haven't really done too much else to them. And I just, I love the way the pieces are used to create the unique look for each texture. And this is our shroud wood building piece. Almost looks a little charred. And here's our tarred wood piece. I'm not too sure just yet where I would use this building piece, but I think it gives a great variety and great possibilities for somebody that can think of a good place to use them. And here we have our copper building piece. Again, personally, if it wasn't for content, I probably wouldn't be using these in building pieces, but gotta do what you gotta do for the content, am I right? And then here we have the bronze building piece, similar to the copper, but with its own unique floor design and wall design. And a much more polished look to it as well. This is the highly polished stone. I do love this building piece and it's likely going to become the centerpiece of my mega build. Don't forget to subscribe so that you catch that video when it comes out. This is the castle city wall, so if you look, the pieces are much more bulky looking. Look like they can put up with a little bit more and much more uniform, which anybody in the real building world will know that uniform building pieces just fit better together and thus they're stronger. And I just love, again, the little details on the joints and where everything connects. And for the wall building pieces last, but certainly not least, the desert temple building piece. And I just gotta say, there's just something gorgeous about this. And I love the way they've done the floor embellishment to really give it that temple look. And the columns, look at the columns here. All right, well, that's it for the wall building pieces. Let's take a look at the roof. This is your tarred straw. And then your straw. Here we have a tarred shingle roof, and then this is your slate roof. And here we have your plant fiber roof. Again, last but certainly not least, your clay roof. We almost forgot this one. This is your rough cut city stone block. Is that what it's called? Yeah, roughly cut stone block. And that's it. That's all 31 building pieces and six roof pieces. I'm T4. Don't forget to hit those like, share, and subscribe buttons. And my next video is going to be a tip on how to get a large amount of mining done with the most resources possible. I'll see you later. Have a good one.